Hey, what are you doing? I, I think I have a sock stuck to my shirt and it's driving me crazy. Static electricity makes my socks stick to my clothes in the dryer all the time. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Uh, does that ever happen to you, Bray? Yeah. I'm John, and you're watching the, the So-and-So so and so Show. John, what is up, my you friend? You know, I was thinking about something. We're called the So-and-So Show, right? Right. And we've determined that we are each a so in the So-and-So Show. If you say so. Mm -hmm. So, I got to wondering, who's the first so, and who's the second so? Oh. Well, I guess we're both a so in the So-and-So Show, so it doesn't matter which so's first, because we're both so-and-so so's. So, so, so and so, so true, so true. Yeah, well, what got you thinking about that? Well, I just read some bad news about one of my favorite bands. Oh, the Cankle Knobs? No. Splash Taters? No. The Rubric Ooblix? No, I'm talking about Ohms and Watts. Oh, that odd electronica music duo that you like mm -hmm. for some reason. Yeah, they're having some creative differences, which is industry talk for argument, and they may split up the band forever. Oh, bummer. Well, maybe not. I've decided to help them. Oh, why? Please welcome someone who knows stuff. <laughs> oh, amazing. You guys can come over and stand over here. Come on. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry. Is there something wrong? Brandon, they don't speak. Oh. Because they're mad? No, they've never spoken, but they are mad. Because they can't speak? No, they do that on purpose. Okay, can we talk normally now? Yeah. All right. So I recently heard that the two of you are thinking about splitting up because of creative differences. Is that true? And what might those differences be? They don't speak, Brandon. I'm sorry, what? What is that? Duh, it's a theremin, an electronic musical instrument. Oh! Hi. Oh, whoa, they're jamming. So that's all that, what's, which one is that? That's Watts. That's all he does, he claps? He's the best electro clapper in the world, Brandon. And he, what? Who, that's Ohms. He, he theremins? Yeah. All right, so why doesn't he clap with real? Because, because he's, because it's electronic. But like, he can make clapping noises Shush. about. Okay, okay. I think I know what's going on. So the two of you are having a hard time deciding which instrument should be the driving force in a song. Am I right? <laughs> and because of this, you're considering breaking up ohms and watts? You mean to tell me you're willing to rob the world of your beautiful, melodic, transformative, and groundbreaking music? Let's not get carried away. Huh? Because you're not willing to find a solution? Well, I think Brandon and I agree that would be a tragedy. Yes, yes, tragedy. So if you don't mind, I want to try something. Watts, why don't you come over here and stand on the other side of me? Right there, right there. Yes, and ohms. Oh, you knew exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> okay. So now I want you to look at each other. Look at each other. And without speaking, decide who goes first with a nod. All right, ohms, start playing. That's beautiful. Right, Brandon? Uh-huh. Okay, now, ohms, let Watts know when he can play with a nod. Now watch, throw it back. Uh-huh. And then back. Yes. Now back. OK, 
Okay, now the two of you can decide on your own. Go. <laughs> wow. Listen to that, Brandon. It's incredible. It's weird. It's the sound of peace. Yeah. I have to dance. And I have to say it's Bible story time with Helen. Please. Hey, hey, what's up? How's it going? Great, Kellen. Did, did I just see the music duo Ohms and Watts aren't breaking up? You did! I love them! You do? Yeah, who doesn't? You got a Bible story for us today, Kellen? I do. And ironically, it's all about keeping the peace between two people. Perfect! Take it away! Today's story can be found in the Old Testament. It's about a man named Abram. God had promised Abram that he and his family would grow into a great nation and bless all the people on earth. God also promised to give a whole lot of land to Abram and his descendants. Then God told Abram to move to that land. So he did and he brought his whole family along. One of his family members was his nephew, Lot. Things started off pretty good, but eventually over time, Wait, what was that? Hello? Hello, sports fans, and welcome back to the only channel bringing you sporting competitions based on reenacted biblical events. Right. BSN, Bible Sports Network. Yeah. Well, let's see where this goes. I'm Mickey Hutch, and as always, I am joined by retired three-time heavyweight wrestling champion of the Tri-City area, Harvey the Brick Brakowski. Yeah, it's always a pleasure to be here, Mick. I wouldn't miss a single moment of sports action, even for a slice of delicious homemade deep dish pizza. <laughs> Smackdown! <laughs> so, Brick, what sort of action can we expect well, today? Well, well, Mick, we've got a real family tree dilemma here. Two family <laughs> members are having an all-out battle of biblical proportions. That's right. The families of Abram and his nephew Lot have grown to huge numbers, <laughs> as well as all of their possessions, livestock, and wealth. I bet they have deep dish pizza. Right. But the battle isn't so much between Abram and Lot as it is with their workers. Yeah, that's right, Mick. Yeah, we have two employees of Abram and Lot who are about to duke it out. Let's watch. Lot's livestock keeps coming over and eating my boss Abram's animal feed. Oh yeah? Well, I think Abram's livestock is eating up all my boss Lot's animal feed. <laughs> Why, I oughta. You oughta. I oughta. Oh, oughta get to it then. I ought. Whoa. Yeah. Things are getting pretty heated. Looks like we're gonna see a brawl after all. Yeah, that's right. A little wrestling never hurt nobody. <laughs> all right. And we'll see how that turns out right after these messages. Oh, um, I guess I guess and I'm the messages that he was talking about. Okay, yeah. So that's exactly what started happening between Abrams and Lot's workers. There were so many of them that they started to fight each other. But before it got too bad, Abram said to Lot, And we're back. And they're back. Wow, just as we went away from break, something amazing happened. Your pizza delivery. <laughs> oh, Brick, always thinking with your tummy. <laughs> uh, but no, my easily distracted friend, it turns out that Abram has reached out with an olive branch to his nephew Lot. He hit him with an olive branch? Ho <laughs> ho! Smack down! Oh. No, that's just a saying that means someone wants to make peace. Uh. Let's listen in. Lot, nephew. Yes, Uncle Abram? Our workers shouldn't fight. We're part of the same family. Very true. Isn't this whole land in front of you? I'll tell you what. Let's split it up. If you take the land to the right, I'll take the land to the left. And if you take the land to the left, I'll take the land to the right. Your choice. 
Wow, what a brilliant move by Abram. <laughs> I'll say, SmackDown! <laughs> Abram is offering Lot a chance to maintain peace, and it looks like Abram is willing to give Lot first choice in which direction he wants to go. That sounds like a risky play to me, Mick. What are the options? Let's see. What are my options? Well, you can go over there, or you can go over there. Okay. Uh, let me, uh, think about it. Well, take your time. That way, duh! <laughs> Later, Uncle! Hey, come on, everyone! We're going that way! Woohoo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh, fumble on the play! Yep, definitely lost yards. You know, anyone who's anyone knows, if you let the nephew choose, they're gonna get the pizza with the best toppings, and you're left with plain cheese. Oh, well said, Brick, well said. Hey, but let's take a look closely at what actually happened here today. Abram did the unthinkable. He took a loss in order to gain peace. Talk about calling an audible. Truly spectacular. Isn't that right, Brick? Yeah, that's right, Brick. Oh! <laughs> Smacked up. That's all the time we have, sports fans. On behalf of Harvey the Brick, Brickowski, I'm Mickey Hutch. We'll see you next time. So long. Bye. No? Yeah, that's kind of what happened. Except for the pizza. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> but... Abram was so determined to keep the peace that he let his nephew Lot choose the best land. He was willing to give up what was rightfully his because peace was the more important thing. And I think that's pretty awesome. Wow, he chose peace when he didn't have to. That, that's really impressive and really hard to do. I hear you. Sometimes when I get upset with somebody, all I can see is what I think I deserve. But sometimes it's best just to let go of that. The most important thing between two people isn't who wins, but whether or not you can stay friends. Ooh, like Ohms and Watts. Our ultimate example, of course, is Jesus. He gave up his own life for our benefit. He didn't have to because he did nothing wrong, but he chose to set aside what was fair so that we could know and witness God's love. That is incredible. No doubt. Hey. Um, I'll see you guys later, but if you get a chance, can you snag Ohms and Watts' autograph for me? You got it. Score! I'll see ya. I should call Ohms and Watts back right now! Reveal the question! <laughs> Why is it hard to give up what you think is fair? Uh, for me, it's just plain selfishness. I like to keep the things I got. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I also get scared that if I give up what I think is fair, I may not have enough for myself in the future. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. How about all of you? Why is it hard to give up what you think is fair? Yeah, talk about it together. And until next time, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this was The, the So-and-So so Show. You really? You really like these guys, Ohms and Watts? I mean, what is it about them? Well, it's just how they... Boop, 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 boop. You're nowhere in their boop. league. Give me some staccato!